Hey Cancer, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. So, information about my readings, my extended reading links are all in the description box below. Also, you can go and visit my website, nomadsoulwire.com. All the relevant information about my readings and... Um, this entire channel or in the website. All right, now let's go ahead and do your reading, Cancer. What do we have for you? I hope everybody's staying well. Tell us more about Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Ace of Coins. Nothing less than that, huh? Lovers and the Two of Cups. Wow. The King of Coins and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Is this a new love? Is this a new encounter, Cancer? I feel it is. It's really, or it's, it's something new here starting off. Something new that is really feeding your heart, your emotions, your love. You feel so loved in this connection. And somebody here really has an eye for a prize to give you what you love, to give you the, you know, to... This is someone who is pretty much very committed, Cancer, who will do everything in their power to be happy in a connection, and to promote a workable, successful connection with someone that they love. And I do see that you are <laughs> you're pretty much falling in love with this person. And I feel that this is a new start. This could be somebody from your past coming back and you're starting things off. Or this could very well be a new person that you have just met. Or probably met in, in, in a few months or weeks now. And you are starting to realize that this is this is something that is worthwhile having. Wow, a page of cups. I feel it's new. It's a new start. Okay, so take it however that resonates with you. It could be a new start with someone new or somebody that you may have known. But this connection right here, I do see that you're starting to fall in love. You're starting to realize that this person that you have right now is, is a sweet satisfaction. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Okay? And we have the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about this page of cups. This is pretty new. It's a new, fresh start. I should say that, yeah? When you met this person, you may have thought that, you know, you may have known this person in your past life. And um, you're beginning to see that, you know, this is your match. This is the, the person that you want. It's like there is that affinity that you have for one another. This is um, Nine of Wands, okay, and the Ace of Wands. You have the two, three of wands and the five of coins. This could also be <clears throat> cancer. Uh, let me get you one more. What is this queen of swords? We have the five of wands and the knight of cups. Okay, this could be, like I said, two things, right? A new person that you have met and then you started to fall in love. You're starting to see that potential of a long-term commitment because it seems that this person is very much committed. Somebody who is upfront with their intentions and um, upfront with what they can offer you. And you have a um, similar goal here, to be emotionally fulfilled, to be loved by each other, basically. Yeah, and you're starting to really get to know this person. And as you continue to know this person, this is somebody that um, 
is making your stomach or heart flutters, flutter, okay? And I do see, um, Cancer, that perhaps um, you're a little bit adamant in moving things forward or, or, or investing much in this to start with because you may have had difficulties in the past relationship, whether it be with this person or, or your past uh, love um, relationship, yeah? But I do see that you got tired in those past relationships that perhaps really did not work. Possibly people may have put you in an, in the uh, very inconsistent mood of dating, so to speak, and that drained you. Mm -hmm. And there was a point in time where you even thought it's very difficult to have a brand new start. Yeah, but you never gave up. And I feel that this person came back or came to your doorstep or, you know, just came to your life and um, it's a beautiful energy it's I feel this is the universe gift towards you to have this new beginning something that is worth having I keep on, on um, reflecting on that something that is worth having you may have kissed a lot of frogs in the past but this right here is the universe way of giving back to you mm -hmm. you've probably been waiting for a while now you've probably been left out in the cold you've probably even you know gave up on love mm -hmm. but this connection this person made you feel that a true commitment a um, fulfillment being with someone companionship being in love is worth having if you have it with the right person and I feel that the way this person is presenting themselves to you right now is very much a reflection that this is a gift from the universe. You wouldn't even believe that um, this ever existed based on your past relationships, past experiences. Things have been very difficult or there's a lot of um, conflict or even competition. People did not choose you or or a person that you're dealing with put you in a very unstable front or put you as one of the options. They did not offer you that cup that you really wanted. And you just got tired of it. And you realize that, come on, you don't really need anyone. You don't really need anyone to get through your life. You had all those experiences. You've kissed a lot of frogs. But the universe did not give up on you. And I feel that this right here is truly a new opportunity for someone to show you what real love is or what a real commitment would be. Mm -hmm. If this is someone from your past that you were very disappointed with, I feel that now they are coming in. To make things right here yeah and I feel that you're gonna you're probably also able to open up to them because you feel that there was this deep connection soulmate this has been a soulmate for you yeah that deep connection is undeniable Wow and we have the world and we have the judgment so <laughs> Basically, for some of you, this could be somebody from the past coming back and committing truthfully, offering you that love, offering you that um, fulfillment, closing out the chapter that um, all the experiences that you've had, both of you will get together. And um, I feel that for you, Cancer, you, you'll um, wrap up every other experience that you've had charge it to experience all the hurts all the lessons now you're ready to charge it to experience and now you're ready to start off to rebirth or to give a new start in love here at the bottom of the deck we have the tower and this is something that is very much unexpected mm -hmm. it's very much unexpected especially after an ending that you have you have had to go through. Hmm? It was very painful. Your past, that is. Could be your past with this person. But that past, that experience that you had with this person, no matter how difficult that was, it made you stronger. 
And then now, it's a sudden change. The universe is giving back. But you're allowing the old cycle, the old whatever foundation you've built with this person or with your past relationship to just fall apart because they no longer serve you lessons you've already um, taken in. And now, a brand new start. Something that is worth having, an opportunity that you can nurture with no other than the king of coins. Somebody who is very much efficient and somebody who is more than capable of making this one coin, this ace of coins, into the ten of coins. If you want one person to do just that, talk to the king of coins. <laughs> wow, I wish I'm cancer today, huh? This is pretty amazing. I love it. I love it. Um, if this resonates with you, uh, cancer, I will extend this reading and um, I'll look further into your person's energies. I want to see how they feel about this connection, what's going on actually, any advice we could get for you as well as messages from this person to you. If you're interested to follow me in the extended, the link is in the description box below. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Um, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by and stay well, everyone.